What is going on, Never Winners? Your boy Ragnar bringing you a video that has been asked for by a lot of people. You guys want to know what armors this game contains, where you can get them, what stats they give, and overall, what are the best armors. So, without further ado, I'm going to be showing you guys which armors you can get in the game with seals, marks, and all other in game currencies. So let's get to it guys. Alright, first off we got the gear you can get here in Protector's Enclave in the Seven Suns Coastal Market. First we're going to talk to the Seal Trader. Here you're going to be able to get gear for Elemental Seals. This is the gear that you're going to be able to get. Keep in mind, this is great weapon fighter gear. But the same gear, I don't know about the stats, applies for all the other classes. You'll be able to get them here with elemental seals. I have several videos on how you can get tons of elemental seals. You can get your rings, your necks, your belts. Here, you're going to be able to get your armor with seals of the protector. Here you can see where you get them. You can also get dragonflight armor but that's a different story we'll get to in a minute this is called elven armor or t2 it's very nice gear keep in mind once again this is for great weapon fighters you can get your necks your rings your belts and all of that all right then we got the gear you can get here at the tarmaloon trade bar vendor keep in mind you get the trade bars from vip This is very good gear. As you can see, you can check out the gear for all the classes. This is the gear available right now. You can get your headpiece and your chest. Matter of fact, I'm actually wearing one of these. These are very, very nice. Uh, here I'm going to show you some of the gear for other classes. The stats, so you guys actually have something to look forward to. If you guys want, you can pause. All right, now I'm going to show you how you can get your Dusk Boots. For this, you're going to have to come to the trade house and you're going to have to spend a little astral diamonds. What you want to do is come to refinement. Here you will type dusk and when you search, you're going to get the dusk boots pack. Here you will get dusk boots. <laughs> you will put on buyout and you can see the different prices. They go very cheap. 13k astral diamonds. Here 41 for 3 packs just in case you don't like one boot, you can get another boot. You know? Fairly cheap, guys. Alright, another great set of gear you can get is here in Mantle Dirt. You're going to want to come here to the armor dealer and you're going to be able to get Drawcraft armor. I have tons of guides on how to get Demonic Icor, which is the currency you need to get this gear. Here I'm going to leave so you guys can see the stats these things you can get your full set as well as your rings if you want now keep in mind a little tip about demonic eye core you could only get 400 a week keep that in mind so to get some of these you have for example the chess piece you have to save up for a week and then the other week you would be able to get for example the chest and the helmet very important little tip to know but this set right here is very good I'm also wearing some pieces of this set you can also look at equipment for other classes here you can see the equipment for all the other classes I'm not gonna show you all of them but I am gonna show you at least two Show 
some love to the Guardian fighter. All right, one quick tip to have about the Drowcraft gear as well as other gear is that it gives you bonuses for having one or more pieces of it equipped. Here I'm going to show you the bonus it has. Keep in mind, these bonuses are separate, you can only get one at a time. So for one of set you get one bonus, for having two of set you get another bonus, but not the first one. Now I'm going to show you really quick what my Dusk Raid bonuses which is amazing I have two pieces of this and what it does is give me 5,000 maximum hit points 1,000 power and 1,000 defense very good set bonus alright for you PvP players here in Ice Windale is the gear you wanna get to smack everybody around so let's get to showing you guys here you can get rings next and waist the stat you want to look at is tenacity that's the main stat for pvp Here you can get the armor. First we got Battlefield. That's the first armor you're going to be able to get when you're PvPing. Quick tip, keep in mind this is armor for great weapon fighter. Then you're going to be able to get your Grim armor. Then your burning armor, and let me tell you guys, this armor looks really good. I'm feeling to get into some PvP just because of this. Alright guys, right now we're going to talk about the Stronghold gear. Dragonflight gear or Lion's Mane. If your guild does not have the marketplace unlock, make sure to get contributing to that guild coffer. Here at the Outfitter, you're going to be able to check PvE, PvP, Dragonflight, which is PvE, Lion's Mane, which is PvP, as well as some artifacts. So let's get into Dragonflight. This is really good gear. As you can see, it's item level 140. It also looks very nice. You can also get your necklace, your rings, and your waist. Very good. Alright, now we're going to look at the Lion's Mane, which is for you PvP players. Very very good looking armor I'm talking about this PvP armor has me thinking about getting into some serious PvP guys I'm not even playing like this is crazy you can get your accessories as you can see the tenacity is high as hell on these items Alright guys, we're almost at the end of the video, and I just have some quick things to say. There is no real best armor in the game. You can get pieces from different sets that best benefit what you want. You might have a piece of Drawcraft with really high defense, and then you can get one from Dragonflight that gives you more power. And it doesn't mean the Dragonflight set is better, it just means that piece is better. So, while there are bonus, as I showed you, that you guys could be interested in getting, there is no real best set. Here I gave you all the possibilities. If I miss some, I gave you the main possibilities for you guys to get your gear, where you can get them, and I showed you the stats. Now, it's all up to you 
to decide what you want to build and what best suits your play style. So yeah guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the different types of armor. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Until next time guys.